Hey guys, it's your girl Brie, and on today I want to talk about um, my perspective as it relates to a woman's beauty. I remember having a brief conversation with my friend Amber, and we was basically talking about how, um, like, we just consider women to be naturally beautiful, right? But I'm really feminine, so if I see a woman and she looks really beautiful, she looks well put together, I'm thinking like, oh my god, like she's so pretty, like she's so cute, you know, things like that. And I'm a woman, so I can only imagine like, you know, I guess what a man would be thinking because he's a man and he's looking at her probably in a different perspective. But I say all that to say that, um, I'm going to tie into another point, but I'm saying all that to say that... Sometimes we could look at other people and we could see their beauty more quicker than we could realize the own beauty that we possess ourselves. So the example that I was going to use was with Jessica Simpson. I used to like follow her like when I was a teenager and I remember her saying how um, when she married Nick, she was insecure about her stomach because she always had like, you know, a little gut or something like that, but he embraced it. After a while, she grew to like I guess appreciate it for what it was because that was something that she was struggling with she was struggling with weight issues and just like those things that we really don't care too much about when it comes to ourselves things that we consider to be flaws and it's just like if I go to the beach right and I notice that a woman has like you know she has a little a little stomach the thought that comes to my mind is not Oh my gosh, she has a big stomach. It's ugly. Like, that's not the thought that comes across my mind. But it's just crazy how when it's us, we could just magnify it and blow it out of proportion. And people will tell you, well, you look fine. You be thinking like, oh my God, like, no, it doesn't look fine. So that's what I really wanted to talk about today. Sometimes we're so much more embracing of other people and we could be hard on ourselves and for today i'm only just talking about phenotypes i'm only addressing physical attributes i'm not talking about character traits personality i'm just talking about straight physical just something that i guess you really have to take time and think about and ask yourself like why are you so hard on yourself but you're more embracing of other people and it also reminds me when people like i guess write comments and they say well oh that looks nice on you but that wouldn't look nice on me and i'm like but how can you say that if you never tried it like you don't know if it's gonna look nice on you or not but yeah yeah that's all i really wanted to say about the uh beautiful women i could touch more on it about it later but for today i was just gonna do like a quick video about it yeah i just think women are naturally beautiful you know the bodies all of that i just think it's so adorable like how you can birth a life all of that femininity factor that's what i think is really like you know adorable and so girly because that's that's me like <laughs> so when i see another girl like that it's just like that's just like if a girl comes up to you and say like, oh, you're so pretty. I'd be like, oh, you're so pretty too. It's your girly like conversing over like lipsticks and things like that. I also wanted to address the beauty factor of women. How we could also be hard on ourselves at the same time. Being embracing of other people, but being hard on ourselves. This summer, I was wearing like, you know, rompers and things showing my legs. And I haven't showed my legs really like that for like the last past two, two and a half years. So this year I was just like, I'm, I'm going all on, it's all or nothing because that's, that's what I like. The last past two and a half years, I just was not like really feeling it like that. I'll wear something like that, but not as much as I was wearing it this summer. And I remember one time I had on my undergarments, I was just looking in the mirror like, you know, I'm getting ready, getting, getting ready to get dressed. And I was like, damn girl like you look good <laughs> like I was thinking that and the reason why I'm saying this is because we need to do that more to ourselves we need to say things like that more to ourselves because certain aspects of society would tell you you know you shouldn't really praise yourself like that because then you'll be considered like to be conceited but it was just refreshing to know that like I actually thought like I was looking good I was really feeling myself I'm not even gonna fake I was really feeling myself 
So I just thought it was really cool that I, I thought it was genuine. I felt it to be genuine. It wasn't something that I was just saying just to make myself believe it. Takeaway message from this video is if we're going to be embracing of other people and they consider it to be their flaws, then we need to try to do that for ourselves too. That's all I'm going to say. And um, it's not something that would happen overnight. It takes time. But at least try to open up that window to make yourself believe it and see it for what it is because sometimes we just be magnifying things that other people just be like are you serious it's not that serious it's not no it's not so <laughs> that's all i had for this video so y'all let me know your thoughts and i will see you in the next one i have a dollar tree haul coming up soon but um i usually don't do talking videos but for today i wanted to kind of just talk about that so yeah, I hope everyone is having a blessed weekend and I will see you in my next video, right? Alright, see ya.